Hey guys, so what's the JC here? Today is January 30th, 2019. It's a Wednesday. We're off of school. It's a freaking cold outside. It's a chill day, not a snow day. But uh, <laughs> I figured I'd go ahead, guys, and uh, give you an update on the coin collection and the saga of the freaking eight reals, which I just beat its ass today. So if y'all remember, I had the fake 1790 uh, eight real, and I was really pissed off about it, kind of. Um... I went to that back to that shop because I went to those dealers that were jerks around here and they were like, no, we don't want it. I think they knew it was fake. I don't know. I didn't really care. So I went back to the shop today, guys, where I bought it from originally. And, uh, you know, where I bought a lot of the stuff you guys have seen, all the silver dollars and stuff. And um, he, I asked him, I went in there and I said, you got any reals? You know, this, the, the old, you know, the pillar design, you know, the pillar dollar. He says, oh, yeah. Um, I got a few from a deal I did yesterday. So he pulls these three out. He pulls them out, puts them in a... Or they were in a little box with some other Spanish... I didn't know what it was. I didn't have time to look at it. <coughs> I got a lot of stuff to do today, so I just went in quick. But, um, there they are. 1796. A 98. Got some chop marks on them, but... That just shows their authenticity. And, um... I tested each one of these guys really well before I bought it. Silver tested it, everything, you know, just the sound test, everything, looked at them. I probably stood there for probably 15, 20 minutes examining all three of these. I pulled the 1790 out of my pocket, and I told the guy, I said, I bought this from you thinking I had this year, or I didn't have this year, you know, when I ended up having it. That was a lie. I bought this 1790 after <laughs> I bought the fake one. That's just my Spanish, uh, that's the 1810 that I carry around, but anyway, we'll get to that in a second. Um, you know, so I have a 1790 now that I've already bought, um, that last coin show. So I was like, I don't really need this one. He says, I'll oh, just trade it for one of these, I don't care. So I traded a fake real for a real one plus two more. So essentially, let's act like this. <laughs> I never bought the fake, so I got these for 90 bucks. Um, 30 bucks a piece, which was a great deal. Um, I can never find these that cheap. This 1810 over here, which is in really ratty shape. Y'all seen it plenty of times. It, it was like... The guy wanted 55, and I gave 45. And that was 50. Um, the 1790, I get, that was $50. This is 45. But this is my carry-around one. This one's really worn on both sides. But I want to change that, because I want one of these $30 ones to carry around in my pocket. So, guys, which one should it be? And I'm going to flip these over, um, just so you guys can kind of hear the sound of them. That's the 96, 98, and 1807, which is the last year of King Carlos, or Charles, or however the hell you want to say it. So, there's the backs. They're in decent shape. 96 is a little more worn, but, uh... They're all kind of beat up to various degrees. But, uh, yeah, so obviously that guy didn't know it was fake. Or he just really, I don't know, it was weird. He was like, so well, he's like, yeah, I don't care. Just trade it for one of these. Well, I thought, fuck it, I'll just buy <laughs> I'll trade it for one of these and buy the other two. And they only got the three, so. I don't know, guys, which one I should carry around. I'll probably carry around the 96. Just because. I kind of like it. I don't know. We'll see. Anywho, that's the story of the eight rip. Whoa! Got one flying. I caught one. That one's on the floor. Anywho, that's that. So, Jason won the eight real battle. Now, on to this, guys. Not saying I'm a supporter or I don't like. I'm not saying my political views on here, but I did buy this. Um, my dad bought one. I thought, well, fuck it, I'll buy one. It's uh, just a Trump round. It's a one ounce. I paid. Well, it's $18. It's a pretty good premium. So, I figure, well, it'll be worth something in the future anyway. It's in a little fat case. But, got the White House on there and stuff. So, that was that. And then, guys, from corner hunting. Got two buffaloes, 37 on the left. I think that's a 1919D on the right. It's pretty toasted, gone. And then five war nickels from corner hunting, so... That's my pickups as of late, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope you liked my uh, 
winning of the eight Rias saga. I sure did. And, um, yeah. I don't know. I'll probably, uh, I gotta get this right out. Hang on. Oh. I'll probably buy more of these in the future. If I can, uh, find them cheap. Because I really like the eight Rias. And, um, yeah. Alright, guys. Peace out. And, uh, I will talk to y'all. Let's see. I'm not gonna be in town this weekend for the coin show. So, it's probably gonna be around uh, the beginning of March when the next update of the coin collection comes out unless something happens before then which you never know with me <laughs> I never know with me all right guys peace out and I'll talk to y'all soon have a good one guys